Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, new video. So in our previous videos, we have uh, discussed uh, the problems related to FIR, uh, designing of FIR filters using windows for both low pass and high pass filters. In the last session only, we have discussed uh, one problem related to high pass filter as well and we have uh, seen many many differences and uh, variations in the problems and how it is interrelated to each other. All the filter coefficients along with the values of frequency responses, desired frequency response. So till now we have seen the desired frequency response that is HD of omega, right? Now we are going to have one actual frequency response H of omega, okay? That is the one step, one extra step after this window plotting, right? We have till now we have solved till this part only, that is till this windows only we have solved. And after that we have not concluded, uh, we have not concluded th this problems completely. We have not got the climax of this problem. Actually, these kind of problems would be appearing for 10 marks with one climax part which I have not done yet. That is the actual frequency response. They would be asking in the question to find the actual frequency response. Okay, for, th for that we are having two different formulas. That is for n equal to e1, that is for the length of the filter, whenever it is an even number, we are having one formula for h of omega that is actual frequency response and for n equal to odd, that is the odd uh, filter uh, length, for that also we are having one separate formula. Okay. Very easy formula, you can remember very easily. We should be knowing how to solve it. Okay, calculating part. So for n equal to e1, the formula is h of omega is equal to e power minus j omega alpha, where you know that the value of alpha is equal to n minus 1 by 2, right? That you would be getting in the problem only. Then into 2 times of summation of n equal to 0 to n by 2 whole by minus n by 2 minus 1, okay? not n minus 1 by 2 it is n by 2 minus 1 in uh, and uh, it is h of n cos omega n minus alpha okay this is the formula for n equal to even whenever the filter length is even when filter length is odd the fo formula is h of omega is equal to e power minus j omega alpha h of n minus 1 by 2 or simply we can write h of alpha okay it's one and the same since alpha is equal to n minus 1 by 2 plus 2 into summation of n equal to 0 to n minus 3 by 2 n minus 3 whole divided by 2 h of n cos of omega n minus alpha okay so these two are the formulas which you need to be remembering okay mostly they won't be asking for uh, even uh, length uh, sequence okay the length filter length would be always odd so you should be giving preference to this formula the most okay Sometimes in uh, minor cases, they would be asking the filter length as an even filter length that uh, in, uh, till now I have not seen uh, come through those problems, gone through those problems and uh, they have not asked as well. So mostly they would be asking for n equal to odd only. Okay. Yeah, so you should be knowing how to solve these problems. So I am going to explain one single problem. Okay. We're using this uh, frequency response. One problem is enough. Okay. That is for n equal to odd one whole complete problem for it to be appearing for 10 marks that I'm going to solve you along with the desired frequency response finding the value of h of n then two different values of h of n then plotting the table window using a particular window then after that using this formula you should be finding the actual frequency response okay let us solve one problem and wind, uh, wind this session so this is that problem guys 10 marks this problem is there right this problem is repeated six times six last uh, previous uh, all the schemes question paper i have referred this six times this problem is repeated six times okay so you can give one preference to this problem and uh, you can solve it because this you can say that this is one sure question for 10 marks from this module that is a low pass filter of uh, filter design this is from module 4 okay sure question this kind of question would be coming okay the question is the desired frequency response of an low pass filter is given by they have given the desired frequency response okay that is hd of e power j omega or simply we can write hd of omega it's one and the same they have given that it is equal to e power minus j 3 omega and they have given the value of omega this uh, magnitude or modulus your sign represents that it is equal to minus 3 pi by 4 3 pi by 4 it is like this okay omega c 
and it is zero. They have told you to determine the frequency response of an FIR filter, low pass filter, if Hamming window is used. Here they have not given the directly the filter length, sometimes like this they won't be giving you. The filter length directly they won't be giving you. You should be knowing how to solve it by, you should be knowing the formulas first how to solve it. How to solve it? They have given the desired frequency response and you know that in generally the desired frequency response here it is written as e power minus j alpha omega. Right. Here they have given e power minus j 3 omega. So in place of alpha what we have? 3. Right. So alpha is equal to 3. So now using this alpha find the value of the filter length n. That is you know the formula for alpha that is equal to n minus 1 by 2. The alpha is equal to 3 is equal to n minus 1 by 2 cross multiply that is 3 2s are 6 n minus 1 6 and minus 1 bring it to other side so the value of n would be equal to 7 so using the value of alpha we have, we have found the value of the filter length l and we got to know that this is the 7 length filter problem okay now directly solve using hd of n don't need to write this one more step again hd of n is equal to 1 by 2 pi Limits are from uh, minus 3 pi by 4 up to 3 pi by 4 e power minus j 3 omega as it is given in the question only e power j omega n d omega so 1 by 2 pi is equal to e power j omega n minus 3 d omega integrated j omega n minus 3 in place of uh, uh, denominator coefficient of omega that is e power sorry j n minus 3 and the limits are from minus 3 pi by 4 up to 3 pi by 4 substitute the limits upper limit minus lower limit in place of omega e power j 3 pi by 4 n minus 3 minus the lower limit is minus 3 pi by 4 so this is e power minus j 3 pi by 4 n minus 3 whole divided by j n minus 3 Okay, now our final answer hd of n would be equal to in place of theta we have sine of theta that is sine of 3 pi by 4 into n minus 3 the whole divided by pi n minus 3 so this is hd of n for n not equal to 3 similarly now for n equal to 3 hd of n is equal to 1 by 2 pi integral minus 3 pi by 4 2 plus 3 pi by 4 e power j omega n minus 3 d omega in place of n you put 3 3 minus 3 0 and e power 0 you would be getting equal to 1 so you would be left with 1 by 2 pi integration of d omega is omega so limits are from minus 3 pi by 4 to plus 3 pi by 4 so 1 by 2 pi substitute the limits upper limit minus lower limit 3 pi by 4 minus of minus 3 pi by 4 is plus 3 pi by 4 denominators are same add the numerators 3 pi plus 3 pi is 6 pi 2 pi 1 za 2 pi 3 za so our answer hd of n is equal to 3 by 4 or 0.75 so these are the two answers of hd of n that you write it and solve it for h of n So the values are sin 3 pi by 4 n minus 3 divided by pi n minus 3 for n not equal to 3 and it is 3 by 4 or 0 0.75 for n equal to 3. Okay. Now do the table part for the filter length n equal to 7 as you have found in the question. It is from 0 to n minus 1 that is 7 minus 1 is 6 so it is up to 0 to 6. This is hd of n that is you should be substituting this equation in the calci. So here it is omega n and here they have used us to use the Hamming window. So Hamming window formula you should be remembering all the windows formulas you should be remembering in order to be very quick in this problem so that's why. So next is h of n. So yeah. First let us find the Hamming window coefficients, okay. 
फॉर्मूला फॉर हैमिंग विंडो इज पॉइंट फाइव फोर माइनस पॉइंट फोर सिक्स कॉस टू पाई ए एन माइनस वन इज सिक्स राइट सेवन माइनस वन इज सिक्स सो डिवाइड बाई सिक्स कैलकुलेट कैलसी सो फर्स्ट इज फॉर जीरो इज पॉइंट जीरो एट फॉर वन इट इज पॉइंट थ्री वन फॉर टू इट इज पॉइंट सेवन सेवन एंड फॉर थ्री इट इज वन आई गेस इट इज वन पॉइंट सेवन सेवन पॉइंट थ्री वन पॉइंट जीरो एट सो फॉर हैमिंग विंडो इज डन नाउ एच डी ऑफ एल दिस इक्वेशन पुट इन द कैलकुलेटर साइन ऑफ ओपन द ब्रैकेट अगेन थ्री पाई बाई फोर क्लोज द ब्रैकेट ए माइनस थ्री होल डिवाइडेड बाई पाई इन टू ए माइनस थ्री जिस तक एल सी फॉर एन इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवन फाइव फॉर वन माइनस पॉइंट वन फाइव नाइन फॉर टू पॉइंट टू टू फाइव फॉर थ्री इट इज पॉइंट सेवन फाइव फॉर फोर इट इज पॉइंट टू टू फाइव अगेन माइनस पॉइंट वन फाइव नाइन पॉइंट जीरो सेवन फाइव सो नाउ फाइनली यू शुड बी मल्टीप्लाइंग ऑल ऑफ देम पॉइंट जीरो सेवन फाइव इंटू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट दैट इज सिक्स इंटू टेन पॉइंट माइनस थ्री इज पॉइंट जीरो जीरो सिक्स नेक्स्ट पॉइंट वन फाइव नाइन इंटू पॉइंट थ्री वन दैट इज माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर नाइन टू सो नेक्स्ट इज पॉइंट टू टू फाइव इंटू पॉइंट सेवन सेवन दैट सुड पॉइंट वन सेवन थ्री टू फाइव नेक्स्ट इज पॉइंट सेवन फाइव नेक्स्ट इज अगेन पॉइंट वन सेवन थ्री टू फाइव माइनस पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर नाइन टू देन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो सिक्स सो दीज आर द फिल्टर कोफिशेंट्स ओके नाउ वी हैव वन मोर स्टेप दैट इज दफ टोल्ड अस टू फाइंड द फ्रीक्वेंसी रेस्पॉन्स एक्चुअल फ्रीक्वेंसी रेस्पॉन्स सो हियर इन दिस केस the length of the filter is odd so for n equal to odd we have one formula for n equal to even we have one formula right for n equal to odd what is the formula for h of omega that is the actual frequency response we don't have d here that d stands for desired frequency response so the formula is e power j alpha omega into and if for forward to told you one more part whatever you have written in the flower bracket that is the magnitude part and they have, and whatever is written in outside that is the phase part okay sometimes they would, uh, they would tell you in the question to mention the magnitude and phase okay so whatever answer final answer we get uh, whatever is there here that is the phase part and whatever is there inside the bracket that is the uh, inside the flower bracket that is the magnitude part okay so now write the formula that is h of n minus 1 by 2 that is alpha okay plus Two into summation of n equal to zero to n minus three whole divided by two h of n cos of omega into n minus alpha. Right. So this is the formula. So this I have told you right. This is the magnitude part and this is the phase part. Now solve it by substituting the necessary terms e power minus j alpha alpha in this in the question they have given it is uh, in desired frequency response they have given it is three omega. So alpha equal to three. So h of alpha, that is h of three plus two into summation of n equal to zero to n minus three by two. The value of n is seven, so seven minus three by two, that is equal to seven minus three is four by two, is two. So n equal to zero to two. Then h of n cos omega n minus alpha. Alpha is again three, right? Now solve it. E power minus j, three omega. What is h of three? H of three is this is h of zero, h of one, h of two, and this is h of three. Point seven five. That's two into. Split the summation. H of zero, cos omega zero minus three. That is cos omega into minus three. We are getting. That is we are getting cos of minus theta. Right, we know that what is cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta only. So we are getting cos of 
माइनस थ्री ओमेगा हियर राइट इफ यू सॉल्व दैट इज इक्वल टू कॉस थ्री ओमेगा सो दिस वुड बी इक्वल टू कॉस थ्री ओमेगा सिमिलरली हेच ऑफ नेक्स्ट इज हेच ऑफ वन कॉस ऑफ जीरो माइनस टू दैट इज कॉस ऑफ माइनस टू ओमेगा वी आर गेटिंग दैट इज इक्वल टू कॉस टू ओमेगा एंड प्लस हेच ऑफ टू कॉस जीरो माइनस वन दैट इज कॉस ओमेगा ओनली so like this you should be solving now e power minus j 3 omega 0.75 plus 2 into now make the necessary uh, substitutions h of 0 is equal to 0.006 cos of 3 omega plus h of 1 is minus 0.0492 so this would be minus 0.0492 cos 2 omega then we have Plus one point point one seven three two cos of omega, right? Yeah. So multiply by two here. Point seven five. Now multiply all these terms by two. Point zero zero six into two is point zero one two cos of three omega minus zero point zero four nine two into two. 0.0984 cos 2 omega plus 0.1732 into 2.3464 cos of omega. Okay, so this is our final actual frequency response h of omega, but this part is called as phase. They would be telling you what is the phase and magnitude. When they when they told separately, you write phase equal to this term, and whatever is there in the flower bracket, that is equal to magnitude part. Okay. Sometimes they would be asking you in the question. So this complete problem would be coming for ten marks. Okay. This kind of problem is fixed. This problem would be definitely asked in the in the exam. This whole problem. Okay. The actual design of uh, FIR filters is this problem which I have told you. The complete solution, along with the frequency response, length of filter, filter coefficient. See whatever filter coefficients we have got, we have used in the frequency response plot, and we have analyzed it, right? So yeah, that's all, guys. Uh, we I had to discuss this problem, very important one. So we'll see you in the next session. Like, share, subscribe to our channel, guys. Thank you.